There's articles written about this, like what are the three most important characteristics of a leader? You know, <laughs> vision, charisma, you know, and I've met some wonderful, fantastic leaders who are not big Steve Jobs visionaries. I read a lot. Uh, there were always contests at the library in the summer where, you know, if you read 10 books, you got a little gold star. If you read 20, you got like two. Uh, there were like five or six girls and I that would always read like 35 books. And the problems faced by all the candidates uh, and the freshers who are preparing for jobs, interviews and all. Even though a candidate know everything about technical stuff, but they are lagging in some part of soft skill. So what is this soft skill is all about? So what is its importance in the uh, job preparation or career prospect you Jen? What is your view on that? <laughs> Let us assume that I am in an interview and I am totally strong with uh, coding, prospective, technical uh, knowledge, everything I am good. But I don't know how to convey that to a panelist. So what is your suggestion uh, to such candidates, uh, Jen? Mm -hmm. It's most of the time, the way that I communicate, like uh, sometimes when they ask a question, I was not listening carefully. That was there. Mm -hmm. So then I was not able to grasp the question properly. So, but listening is an important thing that you need to think about. Yeah. And then when you are speaking, you need to be clear. You need to be concise. You yeah. need to relate to your experiences. Okay. You need to relate to whatever you had done in your campus. Like even when I was uh, interviewing students, mm -hmm. when I was a, a lead leader, I was seeing that they get stuck in fiction. Like in, yeah. They, uh, yeah, they only get stuck in bookish knowledge. Mm -hmm. Like that's not what we expect. Even from students, even when I was there, I was using that, doing that error. Like I was only uh, uh, reading out, mm. telling out the bookish things that was inside me, mm. that I had uh, re uh, learned in my educational uh, for, uh, past. Only the bookish things. But if you can give more juice to it, like you can narrate with uh, things that, let's say a project you had done, mm. some kind of a website yep. uh, front mm. end that you had developed. You can narrate like, okay, I was doing yep. this and then I learned this one. I did this trick. I learned this trick. Yep. I had seen students who had been narrating properly to their yeah. experiences with what they had learned uh -huh. and communicating it. It, it. it builds a good communication. It yep. builds a good story. You mm -hmm. need you need to become a good storyteller. Story you are going to actually make someone believe your story and get you hired inside. So you need to build a story. So okay. storytelling, communication, it's a b good thing that a uh, uh, session should learn. And let's say don't get stuck into those one uh, uh, place and okay. expand your uh, experiences and then create a story. First, first time, you won't be able to do it properly. Yep. First time, you will get stuck in many ways. But let's say you practice it with a friend. You mm -hmm. practice like me and you, Akshay. Mm -hmm. Think these students can go for a Zoom call with a friend or a family or a cousin. Yeah. And the cousin can ask questions and they, they can practice it out. Yeah, so Akshay, basically what communication means? Communication mm -hmm. means whatever the complex things inside your head, you put what's inside your head to yep. the head of the person in front of you with yep. the less, uh, less uh, difficulty for you and less difficulty for that person. Okay. You put what's inside your head to that person's head with the less difficulty yep. to both of you. So it should be your, yes. like a, uh, it, it should be a stream of mm -hmm. thoughts going mm -hmm. here and there so that it, it go, goes into that person's head properly. Yep. So that's what you call communication. Communication. So when it comes to communication and shape, there are multiple ways you can do communication. Mm -hmm. So I had seen when uh, we are doing interviews, mm -hmm. some students, mm -hmm. they just uh, they just keep on talking and they just keep on uh, giving, describing the uh, answer and they go as it is. Mm -hmm. And we expect sometimes them to share the screen. Like even we say, okay, you can use a whiteboard. Let's say it's a physical mm -hmm. interview. We say, okay, yeah. you can use the whiteboard and express. 
So yep. that's also method of communication. Yep. You whatever inside your head, you mm-hmm. put easily to the other one's head. It's not should it not, should not only be a verbal thing. Verbal. You can draw a diagram in a whiteboard, yep. a proper diagram, and ex, ex, expect them to. Uh, you can't expect them to just read your white. So okay. you can de- mm-hmm. actually depict what's in your head in a diagram and diagramming, and then you can explain it to them story okay. wise. You can. Uh, Make a uh, use case diagram. Okay. You can make a uh, like a, a storyboard, and you can explain it to them. Communication is not only one way of communication; it's, it's sometimes through eyes you communicate. Eyes, okay. Sometimes through the uh, body language you communicate. Okay. Sometimes how how you uh, pitch your thought also mm-hmm. a way of communication. Let's say you are just going on one single uh, way of uh, thought, and you mm-hmm. are just making the other person lazy lazy to hear what you are saying. Yep. They will be sleeping and drowsy. You need to adjust your tone, and you need to make make sure that the important things get highlighted with your tone, and you maintain the uh, eye contact. So these things get improved with the time. The more exposed you get with this, the more practice you do with your uh, friends. As I said, do a mock interview with your friends, and when you're at home, mm-hmm. just read at something a very complex thing and write it, draw it in a whiteboard. Okay, if you have whiteboard at home, it's. If you don't have whiteboard at home, what I was doing and what what I was teaching my students also uh, when I was doing a BA practice to do mm-hmm. was to get a paper or mm-hmm. something and just draw it even there. Okay, and that's the way how you put what's inside your head in transferable yeah. manner. Yeah. So, Akshay, in my opinion, these soft skills like leadership, teamwork, communication, whatever it is, the sin comes to us through genes. Mm-hmm. What comes to us through genes is up might be our intelligence, mm-hmm. might be uh, our personal, our appearance, mm-hmm. might be the things which will be coming with our genes. But the context that you uh, uh, been uh, exposed to, the context, mm-hmm. how you been exposed, the way you learned your ABCs, mm-hmm. your family background. The way you practice things, mm-hmm. your school time, or what you did at your school time, what you did at your campus, those things that environment builds your character, like your personal personality, mm-hmm. your soft skills, your that, like your communication, leadership, teamwork. Because as an example, infant doesn't have any soft skills. You agree with me that, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Because infant doesn't have any soft skills. That that so anyone can develop these skills. Uh, we have a tendency, right? Like uh, how to deal with toxic people and the toxic environment uh, in the corporate. So how we can first let's discuss on dealing with toxic people. So how to deal with uh, toxic people in the corporate, uh, Jen? So you have been almost ten years in this corporate, right? So how did you deal with those uh, people? Yep. So Akshay, when it comes to toxic people, they can be within your team and or can be. Uh, some other vendor who or a client which, mm. who is working with you. Yep. So in that case, let's say there are something unfair happening to you. You can always highlight that thing to them mm. in a professional way. Don't ever get agitated. No. Don't ever go beyond your uh, self and don't show emotions. So that's very wrong mm. in a emotion that in a uh, proper workplace. Yeah. What you should do is that as a person, mm-hmm. ask them. Uh, properly, let's say, ask them in a meeting. Ask mm-hmm. them for a meeting and then discuss. Okay, is there anything uh, that uh, I need to uh, improve myself? Or is there anything? Okay, I was doing these these things. What okay. is the mistake I was making? You are being sometimes a, a professional to me, and you had been doing yeah. this thing. So ask it professionally with them, or meet them and uh, have one to one on one discussion and ask it properly. Okay, and then they will be coming out with a reason. Then think it critically okay. what what that means. All right. So don't in a meeting raise your voice and be uh, highly emotional. Okay. Sometimes that can lead that can lead to the end of your career with that yeah. company. Sometimes if you highlight that in in front of a client, that will be the end of your yeah. career there. Yeah. Or uh, within your team to a project manager, with it will be the end of uh, your uh, tenure with that mm-hmm. project. Okay. So 
everyone in a professional setting should be very mindful that this is not your school. This yep. is not where you learn your university. This is not mm. your university. I agree with you that. You can't yep. be that. You can't be that person who was the bully and uh, uh, the stubborn yep. guy when you yeah, have yeah. to cooperate well. There is a yep. way to deal with everything. Very silkily and very precisely you need to mm. deal with things. You need to think very carefully. So when it comes to your team base, now there's a problem, right? When it comes to your team base, they are uh, kind of like conflicting with you and like yeah. guys. But when those things are happening, think about the higher up who is supporting you. Let's say it's uh-huh. the project manager. Okay. Direct the traffic through there. Let's say you need to communicate and get something done. Mm-hmm. CC your project manager and communicate okay. it to him. Mm-hmm. Then that person is in low that the person is looking at this communication. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then you, you have the trust. What you want to do is you need to get your work done. Yes. And the other thing is that don't overthink about this situation. Situations mm-hmm. passed. People pass. This project will be not the project that you will be working in two years time. Yep. These people will not be the people who will be working with you when you are a uh, when, yep. very higher level in that yep. company. Yep. But to go to that higher level, you need to stay in that company. Mm-hmm. First okay. Go to fight with those people. <laughs> so, Okay. Stay cool, okay. reduce your stress levels, think properly, and work professionally. 